What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video and rumor has it repair amplifiers actually stack. We're going to test out one of these, two of these, and three of these and see if they survive longer with more. Also, you can now get these pretty easily in the game and I'll show you how after we run the test. I try to make videos to help you guys out, so if you'd like to help me out, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell and set those notifications to all, that way you don't miss any good uploads or giveaways or comparisons or builds or anything like that. So, let's go run the test and see what happens. Go. The one on the left is running one repair amplifier, the one in the center is running two, and the one on the right hand side is running three. So, let's see if three of these, or two of these, or one of these, actually last longer does it actually make a difference we are about to find out guys we are about to find out okay so far all of their health bars are still looking pretty good but i can definitely see a little bit of a difference so i think these are gonna are gonna make you last longer when you run multiples but the question is, how much longer is it going to make it last? Is it worth running two or three of these? Leveling up modules can be very expensive, so we need to make sure when you're leveling up your modules, we want to make your resources count. You want to get the best out of your resources. So this kind of test will let you know, is it actually worth running multiple of these, or should you stick with like one of these and some heavy armor kits, or one of these and some you know other stuff? We'll find out in a second. All right, so there was a pretty significant difference there, but it wasn't huge. Now, there's no way to test for every single variable in the game. You'd have to test every drone, every drone chip, every this, every that, all the different robots to see how it performed on all of them. So there's always variables. You never know what you're going to run up against in games. So there's no way to test for every possible situation because there's probably thousands of different situations that could possibly happen. But... This should give you a pretty good idea whether, you're not, whether or not you think it's worth running multiples of these. At the time of recording this video, there's two ways to get these, okay? One is the operations pass. Number two is probably a lot easier. It may not require you to spend any money, which is the cool thing because all you got to do is collect a bunch of keys and open the right chests. So if you look in the gold chest here, right? Click on the information thing. Guess what's in here, guys? The repair amplifiers in here so guys this is one of the easiest ways to get one of these things one of the best modules in the game currently so i know people who have been opening these these crates and one of my buddies got three of these out of here so guys when you get the keys open the 1000 chests open the 1000 chests you might be able to grab yourself a couple of these repair amplifiers if you don't already have enough of course, there's no way of knowing what items are going to pop out of here because there's a bunch of different ones in there, but it seems like they're actually popping out pretty often as of right now. That may change, I'm not really sure, but it sounds like it's not too terribly hard to get these out of the crates. Don't quote me on that, I'm just going by what I've been told by other players who have been opening these key crates and trying to get these, and a lot of them have got a couple or several of them, so yeah. Might be a good idea to open the 1000 crates while these are in there. So is it worth running multiples of these? I mean, if you've got them and you got them leveled up, why not? Okay, why not? I did try out two heavy armor kits and one repair amplifier as well. And that did not do as well as, okay, that did not do as well as running two or three. So it's definitely a bonus, but... You can probably get away with running like one nuclear amplifier and two repair amplifiers or one nuclear amplifier, one repair amplifier, and one heavy armor kit. That's one of the best setups right now is something along the lines of that. Or you could even do a nuclear amplifier 
repair amplifier, and an anti-control to help so you don't get locked down and suppressed as much. There's a lot of different combinations, but something like that will really do you well, whether you're running three of these or two of these or one of these. You want to try and get some of these nuclear or repair amplifiers and get those things onto your robots. I think that wraps this video up, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate that a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are all awesome, and we will catch you next time, all right? Lightning out. See ya.